Take a deep breath and I recommend you close your eyes unless you strongly feel more resonant with opening your eyes, that's fine too. Just be completely in your own space, be completely relaxed. Allow this weekend to simulate, to, to settle for a minute, so that a information-free, intuitive clarity can be here with you now. You will remember and take from this retreat whatever you need to remember and integrate that is already done for you. Don't worry about missing out. Don't try to remember anything that I said. Just come back into the space of ever-present intuitive clarity. And take a few deep breaths as you relax your body and you relax your mind. placing your left hand on your heart with a sense of self-love, with a sense of appreciation for the very fact that you're here, for the spark that brought you here that you paid attention to, for the willingness to show up for your life, for what makes sense to you, for what's important, for why you are here. And thank yourself so much for appreciating the preciousness of this brief human existence whose only purpose is to express and explore the one infinite creator in as unique and epic a way as I can. Love yourself. It's not that hard. In fact, it's surprisingly easy. Take a deep breath and feel some degree of love for yourself. And just let that increase, let that radiate into your heart center. And from there spread throughout all of your body. And from your body spread into your mind, your mental body. And appreciate all the struggle that you've created and attracted to yourself and the fact that you're still here showing up and appreciate the fullness of this life the bittersweetness of it all the simultaneity of all that you've ever experienced past, future, present alternate selves, this self Appreciate the full spectrum of who you are as a soul expressing yourself in so many ways simultaneously of which you are one extension, of which you are one magnificent expression endowed with the true light of your spirit. The simultaneity of different kinds of songs and realities interweaving and yet, it is all coalescing right here, right now. It's all happening inside your consciousness, which is absolutely free and unaffected. Undisturbed. Why? Because it knows it has the power to, to define this moment in the best possible way. And that is exactly what you're doing. You're making the most of this moment. You're not complaining about anything, about yourself. You're taking this moment, regardless of circumstance, to appreciate the simultaneity of everything that there is. The fullness of that, the richness of that, the challenge of that, the invitations in that. And you love yourself for being able to perceive this far, this wide, to be this expanded already. You can let everything just flow right through you. Every appearance is just beaming through you. You are like the space that holds all these parallel realities. And you feel so much love within this space for everything that occurs precisely because 
you realize you're unaffected. Precisely because you realize you are empowered to choose how you wish to perceive this moment. And if you perceive it in a holistic, loving way, you will feel amazing. You will feel amazing about whatever it is that occurs. You will be free from circumstance. You will be guided by resonance. And you will be empowered to focus only on your state of being. Your state of frequency. What you vibrate as is what you will attract. But you don't care that much about what you attract. You care about what you send out because that is who you are. That is the statement that you're making. That is the control panel for living an epic life and for making the most of this precious, bittersweet, challenging, yet invitational, highly invitational human experience. And what you take with you when you die and simultaneously already while you're living, what your soul consciousness is extracting from the experiences you attract to yourself is what matters, that's what lasts. That is what you take with you, that is why you are here. To accumulate more experience, to extract more benefit, wisdom, love and balance. To learn from the catalyst that is human experience. That is why you are here. And so you are naturally focused and emphasizing yourself as the state of being that you are, as the definitions that you apply as the way that you see life on a day-to-day, moment-to-moment, second-to-second basis. That is up to you. You are that powerful. It is up to you how you feel. It is up to you what you create. It is up to you how amazing you want this life to be. How outside of the box you want to create your existence here on earth. How much of an example of expansion you want this to be for all the rest of yourself so that you can merge with them in this inspirational state and grow not only as an individual but as a group consciousness and eventually even as a collective group consciousness. So know your power, know your freedom, know you are unaffected, know that you make the changes you want to make precisely because you can and only because you desire to do so. Whatever you desire is what the one infinite creator wants to see through your eyes. What you want to see in your life is what the one infinite creator wants to see for itself through your fucking eyes. So start seeing as it wants to see. Start attracting what it wants to taste and experience and feel. Stop holding yourself back. Stop limiting yourself. Start expanding. Start stepping into your power. Let go of everybody else that ever taught you anything that did not feel good, did not feel amazing. Replace your whole canvas, replace your mind with only that which you wish to perceive right now. Be in complete resonance with this intuitive knowingness, this connectedness to your higher self. Be only in that space, emanate only from that space. Make this your core priority in life. Utilize your time efficiently because it is brief and it is bittersweet, but it can be also sweet if you let it be. If you choose for it to become sweet, the bitter will disappear and the sweet will turn into ecstasy. And you will become Mr. and Mrs. Ecstasy. If I can do it, any one of you can do this. If I can do this, any one of you can do this. If I can do this, any one of you can do this. We live by the same mechanisms. We live according to the same laws. We live according to the same nature. Stop messing around. Start living as you want to live. Do not live for other people. Live for yourself so that you may actually, maybe one day be of service to other people. Live for your resonance. Follow your excitement. See the way the Creator sees. Cleanse your vision and merge with this union so that you live in total self-realization as well as self-actualization. It's a proactive state of merger with the One. Apply your power wisely. Do not waste your consciousness on things that do not feel good. That is your emotional guidance system kicking in, letting you know you're focusing down the wrong, wrong line of sight. You don't want that. You don't want that in your field. You don't want that in your life. It's not helping anything. It's not helping anyone. It's not expanding upon your theme. It's not expanding upon your soul. It's not extracting the most benefit from your life. What you desire is to feel good 
is to feel epic, is to feel amazing all the time. And you can do this more and more. You can do this. You can get used to this. You can practice this until everything else seems absolutely ridiculous, redundant, and irrelevant. Other people can choose that way of life if they so choose, but it is not your life. It is not your way. Your way is that of ecstasy. Your way is that of devotion. Your way is that of dedication. Your way is that of bliss. Your way is that of knowing that you are the chooser of your experience, the chooser of your vibratory state of being, and that is everything. So love yourself, because this is how powerful you are. This is the potential that you have, and also more that I cannot even touch on yet. This is the beginning stages of who you can be, what you can experience, what you can attract to yourself, and therefore to the Creator's point of view. Take a deep breath and feel epic. Feel free. Feel loved. Feel connected. Feel safe. Feel supported. Feel inseparable from all of your creation. All of creation is yours. All of creation is you. Love yourself. Do it now. <laughs> not tomorrow. Not after you've achieved this. Not after you've apologized to your partner. Love yourself now as you are. Love your imperfections. Love your challenge. Love your ignorance. Love yourself as you are. Appreciate yourself as you are. that love empower you to create the life of your dreams and to know that you're the dreamer of it always. You're dreaming in honor of the infinite one. Your life is a testimony. It's a trophy for the infinite one to look at, to stare at, and rejoice in, to see itself reflected in form, to see itself reflected in the realm of consciousness, having experiences, to see its infinite potential realized in this highly specialized, unique way that is you. You are beautiful. How could you not be? You're so rich. You're so filled with complexities and intelligence. You're so rich. You're so full. You're so overflowing. You're so infinitely abundant and connected and loved. And you have the ability to live as the Creator lives. Be that co-creator. Be that shepherd of humanity. very peaceful. And feel free to sit here in this space for another five to ten minutes or so if you want to and leave when you want to. If you want to talk and chat, do so outside of this room. And if you want to come up and have a couple seconds of my eye-gazing capacities, then you can come off the stage. <laughs> okay. So keep quiet and keep to yourself for now. But feel free to mingle outside this building and share your epicness with the rest of yourself.